new push to ease traffic congestion in parts of Pittsburgh. The city wants to install dozens of new smart traffic signals. John Shumway is live tonight to explain how they'll work and where they'll go. John. Yeah, and we have seen these things work pretty well on Route 22 through Murraysville in the Wexford Flats on the McKnight Road corridor. But here in the city of Pittsburgh, it's a little more complicated of a game. In fact, behind me is Baum Boulevard at the intersection with Moorwood. Already there is a little bit of smart technology here, but this will be a part of one of what the city is calling smart spines. Whether it's quitting time and we just want to get home or a start of the day and there's business to do, no one wants to sit in traffic. Enter smart traffic systems in Pittsburgh. The goal being that we can lessen the amount of idling time by over a third. That's because once it's installed, the smart traffic system will have these signals detecting and working together as a grid. Traffic signals will know where the traffic is, know where the congestion is, and be able to disperse it much more effectively. So the city has identified a number of traffic, what they call smart spines, if you will, to utilize the smart traffic signals. To be able to keep traffic flowing at a much more uh, uh, consistent and efficient rate. The first phase will include the Route 51 corridor from the intersection with 88 into the Liberty Tunnel. A corridor is already in part operating along Penn Avenue and Baum Boulevard through Bloomfield Shady Side down to Bigelow. Our next step is Bigelow all the way downtown. And the other corridor, Phase 1, is West Liberty Avenue from the Liberty Tubes to the Pittsburgh Dormont Line. Future corridors or spines will be 5th and Forbes from downtown to Oakland and Center Avenue from town out to Bigelow. This will be built out over a series of years. Yeah, and one other corridor that will also be included is 2nd Avenue out through Hazelwood to the Glenwood Bridge. Now, the first phase is really in design right now. Construction and installation will start sometime mid to late next year. So we're talking about late next year or even into 2020 before these things start going into operation. Live in Bloomfield, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.